Hey everybody, Julie here from Mostly Caffeinated. I wanted to talk to you today about my planner. Please forgive my crazy hair. Uh, <laughs> I was going to film something else today, but you know what? This presented itself, so here we are. I use a Me and My Big Ideas Create 365 Happy Planner. Um, this year, specifically this one. Last year, I had this one. Um, this was a little too colorful for me. Let's be real. Um, I just liked this one because the layout, once you were inside, was my preferred layout last year. This year, what I found is they had a lot more choices. Um, I got mine from Michael's because I was just going to order directly off the website. I knew I wanted this planner again. But um, off the Mambi website, it seemed like I could only get an 18-month planner. And I didn't want an 18-month planner because then you get stuck in this weird cycle where every planner starts in July and they don't overlap. So it's like, I don't know, you're missing like six months. So I wanted a 12-month planner. I went on Michael's. They had 12-month planners. They had a lot of choices. And most of the insides were actually my preferred setup. So what I got to choose was I got to choose the most neutral one, which is this one. I love this one. This is your gear. It's got the gold rings, if that matters to people. I just like that they weren't a color. Gold, black, silver, white. I knew that would have been fine. But I got this one. Um, and I might show you what's inside if this video doesn't get too long. If it does, that'll be a separate thing. But anyway, this is just the regular sized one. If you've never owned a Man B planner before, what this is is like seven and a half by nine and a half. So it's it's not eight by eleven, it's not even eight by ten. It's kind of an awkward size. You gotta trim things down. Um, and it's not, I mean. I could put this in my purse. My purse is kind of like a tote bag, but I don't because it's big. It just sits on my desk. It's a nice size to sit on my desk. Um, and then I'm going to go in chronological order of what I bought. Last year, I didn't buy anything. I literally just wrote in my planner and it was fine. Um, but this year, I wanted to get a little bit more, I don't want to say creative. That's not even what I mean. Functional, really. A little bit more intentional with the planner. So the very first thing I bought were these, which is a pack of extra filler paper, essentially. It's half lined paper, half graph paper, because I never have enough space to write stuff down. I love this planner. This is like my ideal planner, but I still sometimes need to write more stuff down, and I wanted to be able to put it into the planner, not have it loose and like flying around. So I bought these because this seemed like an affordable solution. I think these were... I don't know, four or five dollars or something. Got them on Amazon. I could have gotten them in a Michael's store with a coupon, but I don't have a Michael's store near me. So by the time I drive to one, it's like a whole thing. Anyway, so I got these and I started using these. Liked them. They're they're thick paper. They're like the paper that's inside the planner. And then don't mind me. After I used those for a while, um, I realized I really wanted to put a lot of stuff into my planner. I wanted to be able to write a packing list and put it in my planner. I wanted to be able to write shopping lists and put them into my planner. The whole appeal to me of this disc bound system was the fact that you could put things in and take things out. So I decided to bite the bullet and buy a punch. And I had pretty much three choices. There was like a inexpensive punch, like a travel punch, air quotes, from Staples where you had to push three different sections down and end up being very flat when you were done said it could only punch a few sheets of paper. Okay, there's the actual Mambi punch, which again only said it could punch a few sheets of paper, but was shaped like a regular punch. And then there was the Staples Arc, like big kahuna punch with a like ergonomic handle that could punch more sheets at once. That was also like three times as expensive. I ended up purchasing the actual Mambi punch, not because it's Mambi. Okay, I'm usually not a brand loyalist in any fashion. <laughs> but this one... I saw reviews on YouTube, actually, because the reviews on Amazon were all kind of poor for all of three of them. But I saw reviews on YouTube where they actually punched with this, and it looked like it did a good job. Yes, it says you can only punch three sheets of paper. Yes, that's pretty much accurate. I don't really care. <laughs> like, I don't really need to punch more sheets than that. I don't intend to make my own covers, so I will not be punching anything, like, plasticized. I literally just, like, punch my grocery list. It's great. It is pretty much identical to a regular, you know, metal three hole paper punch. Like it feels just as heavy. It punches the same. Um, I think it only punches less sheets because of the shape of the holes. 
I think it's just too complicated of a shape to punch more than three sheets and have it work out. That's all. It's not that this is like poor quality or lightweight or anything. So I really like it. I've been keeping it in the box just <laughs> so that I could show you the box. This is how it came in the mail. Um, so now that I have showed you the box, I can stop putting it back in the box all the time. Thank goodness. And I can just keep it like this on my desktop. My husband thought it was funny. He's like, you bought a punch because you needed a blue one because he didn't look inside. He thought it was just another three pole punch and I already have one. I was like, uh, no, it's a punch for my planner. He's like, anyway, so I got that one. I like it. And then I thought, okay, there are some things about filling out my planner that have bothered me in the past. Uh, not about the planner itself. I love the planner. Okay. But I'm kind of anal retentive. <laughs> and I put everybody's birthdays across the top of the day, if it's their birthday. And I could not fit the person's name and the word birthday in the box. And this drove me nuts. I wanted to fit on one line, like Bob's birthday. And it doesn't. The word birthday is just too long or the way I write or whatever. This has bothered me like every week of the year last <laughs> year. I know that's stupid. <laughs> But honestly, that was the impetus behind the rest of these purchases. Stickers and stamps. Literally, what started the problem is I did not want to write the word birthday. That's it. I wanted to stamp for birthdays and then just put somebody's name. Call me crazy. Um, and actually, the first thing I bought were these stickers. I can't these are Mambi. This really looks like I have like a Mambi planner uh, brand problem. I just, they're like the most affordable and high quality combination. Um, I bought this, which is actually like the meal planner set of stickers because I don't like seasonal stickers. I'm just not a decorations kind of girl. Um, I do want to up my meal planning game. I want to do it more often. And I thought if I had some cute meal planning stickers that might help. And really these aren't that meal specific. Like this first page is, you know, little quotes and flags and cute meal planning stuff. I want to move this so I can actually see it too. But then there's several pages like this where there's just a lot of like stars, arrows, hearts. These are not meal specific and they're cool and like metallic and neutral, which is something that I'm into. And there's some that are, I mean, they could be meal specific, but they say like tip, add. I could use that for anything. So that's why I bought this set, because I thought these are the most functional. These are the only book of stickers I intend to buy this year. I do not do Etsy stickers. I do not do print my own stickers. I do not buy a bunch of these. I don't really decorate my planner. I really only do function. Um, so I want to keep it to just this book. I don't really have a budget for my planner. That's not a thing my husband thinks we need to spend money on, and I agree. So this is the only book of stickers. But because I wanted to be able to do like the repetitiveness of putting the birthdays on everybody's birthday and being able to stamp for like church and being able to stamp for like sporting events that my husband coaches. I didn't want to have to constantly be using stickers, but I like the visual aid. Um, I kind of have ADD and it's hard when my planner is just all my handwriting in the same pen all the way down the page. It I can't tell like what's an event and what's a birthday and what's a meal like. I'm a very visual person. So I thought, oh, I will get some stamps. So I went on Amazon. All of these came from Amazon because I don't have stores near me that sell crafts. And I ordered this set of Lawn Fawn stamps. Again, it's not a brand thing. I just liked this set the best. They served my purposes. There's some words on top, um, a couple of arrows, and then some logos. So like I've used this one for meal planning before. We have pizza every Friday. I've used this one. Grocery shopping. I've used this one. Um, I have not yet scheduled any dentist or doctor appointments, but if I did, I could use those. I don't work out. That one won't get used. <laughs> this is the one I use for birthdays. I could use this one if I need to send a present, get a present, whatever. Not sure quite what I need this one for, but I'll come up with something. I use this one when I plan out um, filming videos. Again, I probably don't need this one much. What is that? Oh, a dollar sign. I don't do budget planning, so I won't need this one much. Vacation, I've used that one. Um, an airplane if I ever flew somewhere. I mean, I like airplanes. Maybe I'll just put it on things that have to do with my son because he loves airplanes. I use this car if we're going on like a road trip, which actually happens more often than you think. 
Right now, I don't need a bus, but I will. In the future, my kids will go to school. I use this to make coffee dates with myself, like in the mornings if I plan to sit down with a cup of coffee and do something. I'll put that in there. I use this for um, blog posts or school events because it's a pencil. I use this one for conference calls. I am on the board of directors for a summer camp. Long story. I'll talk about it later. <laughs> but I use this when I have conference calls. Never used that yet. Speech bubbles are just kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know. I use this for sporting events. Um, rather than get a bunch of different sports balls, I thought this little pennant flag would do. Um, there's sometimes piano recitals or things that my husband's students are in that we need to go to. I use this for anniversaries and weddings. I haven't needed that one yet or this one, but hello, how can you go wrong with those two? If I need to send a piece of mail, which happens, my husband will be like, oh, can you mail this? And I forget for like a week. I stamp it in my planner now. Uh, if anybody was on any kind of pill, like if somebody were to start quartz antibiotics or something, I suppose I could put this on my planner. We don't do a lot of medications. Again, that's another video, but there's like a beverage tracker. I do not do that. Like, do I need to track my cups of coffee? <laughs> some more boxes, some arrows. And then this is what really sold me on this set is there are checklists and numbers filled in boxes. I don't know why you use those. Empty boxes, filled in hearts, empty hearts. So I got heart checklists out of this deal without buying stickers. If I wanted checklists, I got like boxes to highlight things. I got logos to use for functionality and I got a few words. So I got these. These were pretty inexpensive. I wouldn't have bought them if they were expensive. I'll leave a link below. And then I wanted, I needed like a church school reminder type of set. And so I got these from, what is this called? Technique Tuesday. Um, so it says like, this is important. There's a church one. There's a school one. There's like a task list. I use this every day. There's we need, there's make a phone call. There's some arrows and stuff. So I thought these would be super functional. I've already used about half of these and I've only planned two weeks. <laughs> so these came in super handy. And then of course you need an acrylic block to use those kinds of clear stamps on. So I just got the most inexpensive medium sized one I could find on Amazon. Can you see how big that is there? That kind of helps. It's by Kaiser Craft. It doesn't have like guidelines on it, but I didn't want those ones with the wavy sides. I know those are supposedly easier to hang on to, but I don't have trouble hanging on to this and I think those look weird. <laughs> Honestly. So this is the most affordable option that was in kind of a medium size. It's about the size of my hand. Um, so I wouldn't get lost and I could fit stamps on both ends and I don't have to take them on and off as often because I'm lazy. So I got that one. I've again used all of those things. I've just kept them in the wrappers purely to show on the video. <laughs> and this is a cool story. There was one more set that I thought about getting and I said, no, that's just frivolous. You just want it because it's cute. You'd use it, but you don't need it if you don't have it. So I didn't order it because it was another, I don't know, six dollars or something. And then I was at my Goodwill and somehow, I don't know how this happened, I found this exact set of clear stamps that I had almost ordered for myself off the internet for 99 cents. This is going to be a little hard to see, but they're these. Um, I believe they're by one of the two brands that I had already purchased a set from. I don't remember which one, but I remember seeing them on their website. And these are all book reading related. Like there's a set of books and there's like library day, story time, how many pages have I read? You know, I should review this book. There's a little Kindle icon. Coffee plus books equals love. Books are due. Those kind of words. I have used these. I love them. The fact that they were 99 cents and I spontaneously found them at Goodwill the day after I placed a stamps order. It was just amazing to me. I don't even know. Um, my boys are obsessed with the library. We go to story time all the time. My books are always due at random times. I love reading books. Again, it's kind of like my meal planning. I feel like if I have stamps to use to plan reading. Maybe I'll read more. We'll see. But they were 99 cents. This was worth it. And those are all the things I use in my planner. I don't use anything else. I don't intend to buy anything else for at least this whole year. Next year, if I've used up all those maybe stickers, maybe I'll buy a book of stickers. Maybe. But I'm really loving the stamping. It's going well. I already had stamp pads from my teaching days. I'm just using those. I'm not fussy about ink. Okay, like, they're not like chalk ink, pigment ink, whatever. There's a little bit of shadowing through my pages, but I really don't care. Like, it does not bother me. I will do a different, 
um, video that is a tour through my planner because this is 15 minutes long and I don't want to hold you here any longer. But leave me a comment down below if you love this planner. Um, I will try to link a bunch of stuff in the down box about where I got all these different things and which, which ones I have and everything. So you can see the prices, maybe do a little shopping. Um, but I like them all. They all work well by means of a review. They are all good quality stuff. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, like my video. That helps them get shared around the internet. Even as a very tiny YouTuber, I have noticed that since this new algorithm of how YouTube works, that my videos aren't getting viewed as much. I was only having, you know, a couple hundred views per video tops, but I'm not even getting that now. I'm only getting like two or four views. And I have five subscribers. So odds are good these aren't even showing up in your subscription feed. So make sure you subscribe, maybe even hit that notification thing if notifications don't really bother you. Um, like and share and comment and all those things because any any community activity that you get on your videos um, helps you get seen, helps you kind of go up in the rankings of the YouTube algorithms. I am not looking to be a big channel, but I'd like at least my five subscribers to be able to see my videos. <laughs> So do all that clicking for me. Um, I hope you're having a good year. Uh, I hope this gave you some ideas of some economical ways you can enjoy your planner. And I'll see you next time. Bye.